Welcome everybody to another episode of Drinking with Aaron Hello. down here at 1929 Main Street in downtown Vancouver. That's at the Moxie Soda Shop, uh, official home of Drinking with Aaron. Uh, today we're taking you way down south, south of the border, to uh, Mexico. We're going to talk about the Haritos line of soda. The Haritos actually started back in 1950. Um, first one they introduced was coffee flavor, which I don't believe you can get in the United States. I've never seen it, nowhere. His original thought was to create a line of sodas that was all of natural fruit flavors, yeah. that's what flavored the sodas. And so coffee was the first thing that he could make a soda out of that was stable and he could keep bottled. Yeah. Um, it wasn't until uh, probably five or six years later after introducing the coffee flavor is when they came out with the first uh, fruit flavor one, the Terramin. Ter Tamarind um, soda, um, which he released in Mexico. Um, it quickly became the most widely distributed um, Mexico-based soda in Mexico. I mean, it was it was everywhere. You could get it anywhere in Mexico. Um, they finally just started to distribute it over into the United States. Um, throughout the years, the different sodas came out, different fruit flavors, um, different things like that. Um, has a whole line of sodas now. It's 11 different. Um, flavors. It's the most widely recognized Mexican soda in the United States, most widely distributed, um, available in all 50 states. Um, so he really made his mark on the Mexican soda industry, and uh, we're going to give them all a try today. We're going to start with his first one, that was fruit flavored, the Tamarindo. 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 I like the burritos line. Do you? Yeah. I, I, have, I haven't actually had very many of them, so I'm kind of excited to try them all tonight. Taco Express up on Highway 99 there, you know, you've got a whole variety up there. That's where I was first introduced to the different flavors. Yeah, I've seen them everywhere, you know. You go into any Mexican food restaurant, they've got the burritos line in there. Um, you know, not necessarily all of them, but they usually carry a couple of them. You can find them at you know, a couple of them in at Mark's. What's great is that Moxie's carries them all. So, you know, Get if you want to come down top. here and try them all, you can pick them up and it's a great price and you can come down and check them out all at one time. So, it's great. Um, looking forward to trying them all myself. Not much of a smell to it. It's a good flavor, though. I have a feeling I'm going to like all of these, you know, the different fruits from Mexico incorporated into soda. They all have really great, rich flavors, you know, that the southern region of the world, you know, they get some of the great flavors like the guava and the mango. And, no, I drink you know, this and I those. just imagine myself as a little, you know, Mexican boy outside of, like, Mexico City, enjoying the... the Sitting on the stoop with the dirt street underneath you. The Muli Bueno Tamarindo. I can see that. Very refreshing. Takes See how it would be a, you know, very nice and refreshing for, you know, the, the young uh, Hispanic children down there in Mexico to kick back and drink one of these on a nice hot summer day. And um, I don't know if I'd call it nice. You know, I'm, I'm not one for big 115 degrees. But how it's gonna be? Yeah. I think about fonder adventures and where life will take them and. You know, all of those things. It really, really puts you in that place. All right. So next up on the show, we've got the mandarin flavored soda. My personal favorite. I, I'm looking forward to this one. I love orange flavored sodas, and the mandarin oranges are so sweet and so good. And you know, really can't wait to try this one out. Looking forward to this. I wish I had some of those shredded beef tacos right now. Shredded beef tacos. Oh, that one's. Oh, yeah. I like that one a lot. It's not like, you know, you go and grab an orange soda out of the cooler. It's totally different with that mandarin orange flavor. Those mandarin oranges, nothing like a navel. You know, you United got. United States don't make soda like this. No. Not even close. But, you know, we will help the Hispanic population to come and become United States citizens or, you know, legal alien status so that they can come over and share the things that they have down there in their culture with us and to help them provide a better life for their family. 
and you know hopefully we can get you know more of them over here in a, in a legal status so that we can all enjoy America as a whole and uh, all uh, benefit from everything that they have to offer and everything that we have to offer them. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good soda. I drink this, uh, I, I have drink quite often in the last like, year or so. So I'm very familiar with it. This is probably my current favorite soda. Current favorite soda? That you soda. run into on a regular I would say it's a, it's, a, it's an excellent soda. It's got a great flavor, great carbonation level, something you can drink just with anything. You know, it's, it's a great cooler down, and I love it. Tacos or quesadillas or burritos, bean cheese beef burritos, tostadas, all of those wonderful uh, Hispanic foods goes right along well with it. Let's move on to the next one, Jerry. All right, so next up we've got the lime soda. Um, I'm also happy to be a big fan of uh, lime flavored things. Um, over here in the United States, we're more accustomed to like the 7-Up, lemon lime type flavors. Um, this is more of just a lime soda. I think it's going to be a little more refreshing. It doesn't have that quite as sourness as uh, the lemons do, so not quite as much uh, sweetener needed, I would say. So let's see how this one goes. fruity lime soda. Oh, it smells like limes. Well, that's good. I really like that one. Yeah, it is. It's got a nice flavor all the way from the very beginning all the way to the back. No little bitter aftertaste or anything. It's great. Nice, smooth soda. Yeah, it's definitely different from your typical, you know, 7-Up like you're talking about. I, I like it. It's got a sweeter taste, it seems like. Yeah, it's not quite as, uh, you know, the 7-Up sodas and things like that, you know, the more traditional sodas, they, they're so carbonated, so highly carbonated. You lose a lot of the nice, fresh, sweet flavor, where this is just such a good combination balance of the, the carbonation and the real fruit flavors and things like that that really add to the flavor. It makes great soda. I really like that one. Next up, we've got the uh, Haritos Fruit Punch. Tutti Frutti. Or Tutti Frutti. Um, it was released as both when it came out. It's uh, just like a traditional fruit punch, I would think. You know, a mixture of all different fruit flavors all in there. And <laughs> we'll, s we'll see how that one tastes. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was just for you, Jerry. <laughs> Oh, that's that's really good. It's just oh, a yeah. great mixture of all these different fruit flavors. That's good fruit punch. I'm not usually a fan of the uh, the fruit punch flavored mm -hmm. drinks. You know, you go and get a jug of fruit punch or the Capri Sun fruit punches or something like that. You know, the it's usually too sugary. Too sugary. Not good. really what you're looking for when you're going for something that's just a mixture of fruit. That's what it should be. Whereas this is, you know, since it's made with the all natural fruits and, you know, sweetened naturally, and it's just great flavor, really quenches the thirst, like you were saying. And I could literally fill my fridge with, you know, some of the selection we drank tonight and not ever need to drink a Pepsi again. Yeah. You know, or whatever. I'd be happy with any one of these in my fridge. All right, Jared. I'm really excited about this one because I'm thinking of the fruit punch was as good as it was, this strawberry soda has got to be just phenomenal too. It was, uh, it was the Harito Strawberry. It was the last one that they released. It was uh, um, back in 2002, I think, is when they released the strawberry flavor. So it's the newest one they've oh, got. Really? Um, really excited about this. Echo and Mexico. Echo and Mexico. I'm usually a very big fan of strawberry sodas. Um, some of them are a little too sweet. You know, not really the natural strawberry flavor, so I'm kind of excited to see how this one holds up.